Today we're doing a video on how to learn how to do a, a Crazy Larry. I thought this video would be good to teach you how to learn how to do Larry's because I'm actually learning and sometimes when you watch a video of a pro, they make it look a lot they easier. They make it look so much easier and it's like you kind of need to know like what am I going to be looking like when I go out there my first day. This is my first day ever trying this. so. Yeah, we're gonna use uh, front brake mostly uh, today because she's uh, practicing figure eights. So I figured since her tire is almost gone, uh, it'd be a good time to practice some Larry's. So can you explain why you're teaching me with front brake first? Okay, so the reason why I want to teach her front brake first is because uh, it's a lot slower. Um, and not so much intimidating when you go into a Larry. Uh, a true Larry would be no front brake, dipping it in, all gas. That's what a true front Larry, I guess, would would be. Um, so we're gonna just go into a front brake Larry, so it's controllable and easier for her to learn on. So I heard on um, someone posted on our Facebook group that uh, that learning with your front brake learning a larry with your front brake is a hard habit to break so are you sure that's a good idea yes i'm sure that's a good idea um i don't think it's a hard habit to break if you learn how to do it and then go into doing it the right way um it's, it's no matter what still a good trade to have to use your front brake and do a, a Larry uh, front brake um, burnout. It's not like it's a bad thing. Nobody's gonna know. We do a lot of shows. Nobody's gonna know what you're doing if you're doing it with front brake or not. So it's like. So st so start with the front brake. It's easier. Yeah. Do it the okay. front brake. Everything slows down. Easier for people to be able to like uh, get down the concept of what you're actually doing in uh, in that burnout and go from there. So um, so I'm gonna enter some footage of what I was practicing today, which is figure eights around a cone. And this is basically where I'm at in my progression of rolling burnouts. <clears throat> I'm still working on, I just started doing right turns and working on, I'm trying to work on getting tighter and faster in my, my, my burnouts. Here, I'm gonna show you what my tire looks like right now. Just so you have an idea. The reason why I want her to learn right now with the tire uh, being the way it is, is that um, it's gonna be a lot easier to give it throttle. Um, you won't have to give it as much throttle, which is what intimidates a lot of people is giving it more throttle. Well, I think we got about 40 PSI in here right now. We got a 402 on here. Front tire, we got a Shinko 777. Uh, a lot of the Sun Riders uh, run that. I personally <laughs> run that on my bagger as well. In the front, we got about 25 PSI. You want me to do a rolling burnout? Rolling burnout. To a stop. To a stop. And you're gonna put one foot down. Not the other one, just one foot. Okay. But you're gonna go, so you're gonna go left. So you, right before you come to a complete stop, you're gonna go left because your left foot's going mm -hmm. down and then and then you're not gonna pull in anything. All you're gonna have is apply more brake because obviously that's what you're gonna do. Control your throttle. And then when you want it to start coming around, give it more throttle. The, the more throttle you give it, the more it's gonna wanna go this way. Do I turn my front bars? Yeah, so you're gonna go and you're gonna just readjust like this. You're just gonna go. And the more you want it to turn this way, the more you want this turned in. So it's gonna be more like this. You see my foot? And let me get a picture of this. So you're gonna be in, foot down, and then the tire is gonna to wanna to swing this way. So. so the more gas I give it, the more the ass is gonna swing out. Yeah. Alright. I can do this. You got it. Wish me luck, guys. Alright, first attempt. Let's see how she does.
All right, what could I have done differently? So no, that was a really good attempt. I was really surprised by that, but I think um, obviously leaving your foot on the peg, the right your peg. right foot on the peg is what you need to do on the next one. But you can, you can lean it over more. Uh, you just have to turn your handlebar in so that way your bike wants to go around around yeah uh, because i think you were fighting it on the verge of like on and like you're high and then low high and mm. low so if you just keep it one steady like angle you'll go pretty smooth that was pretty tight no that was really tight that was like a almost a layer you just i actually limiter. noticed that i started letting off the front brake yeah to go a little bit yeah sure. sick okay i'm gonna try it again That's a good first attempt. Too much throttle. I gotta throttle. Hit the limiter. Too much gas. I, I, I would, thought, okay, wait. I would just keep doing what you were doing. This is a good question. Mm. Oh. oh shit. What is that? Always clean up your mess at the lot. Okay, so that last one, the reason, I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I was trying to give it more gas. Yeah. So what happened? So you weren't keeping up with your foot. Like, you weren't like adjusting enough. Your foot plant wasn't adjusted enough for your rotation. So you mean like I, I need to move it? Yeah, you, you either need to let it slide with your bike and try not to like plant, plant every time because yeah. you're planting and then you're trying to stay there but the bike's not trying to stay there so you're not working yeah, I, with, I was trying to do a, a tight circle yeah but you're not working with the bike so you you almost want to flow I'm forcing it too much yes you want to flow with the bike as much as you can like okay guys so this is the reason why i always recommend to film yourself um so you can review your videos and see what you're doing wrong um because it's hard to describe what you're doing wrong sometimes you have to see uh, a lot of people are visual people, so um, film it, and like I said, so I got it on video here, and we can just review basically what she did wrong, and we can just stop it, and you know, so like right here, you see how her foot is, that's actually not bad, but right here, too much weight, you see that? You're like, you got way too much weight on yourself and not the bike, and that's why the bike just went like that. See that? It's control, control. Now there's no weight and it's just underneath you. Right here, you had control. Right here, like you see how you could have just left your foot down and let the bike kind of oh, do its thing. But as soon as you started letting it go under you, oh, my foot starts now moving. you're you're putting too much weight on yourself. Like oh, you're, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. planted, but the bike is just going. I, I see that. Okay, yes. let's do it again. Cause I, I see what you're talking about now. Right here, I'm uh, beginning. I'm, beginning. Hold on, what's right it? here, I'm on the bike. No, right here, right here is the beginning. Watch, you'll see how smooth it is and controlled. Like right yep. here, it's controllable. You're high enough, and then you start getting the bike underneath you more, and it's like out, sit, out away out from, from, from underneath yes. me. So that's when you start. Okay, losing so control. you know when I started losing control is when I. I told myself, okay, give it more gas to try to hit it. Yeah, so don't, don't even worry about that. Keep giving it gas or whatever you have uh, as far as control wise. And just keep it in a circle. It, it could be the slowest Larry ever. I just want you to get a complete circle. Once you get a complete circle, start feeling it more, drop it down a little bit more, see how fast. It's probably not gonna whip you around until you start letting go of your front brake. You know what I mean? That's how a lot of people start going into Larry's. They'll come in front brake, and then once they start the momentum going, then they'll let off and just let the bike go.
started getting it, letting it get away from you. You didn't, uh, you didn't lock the brake like I told you to. Remember? Go slow. I'm uh, really picky about pavement. Uh, what I try to tell her, uh, even though she doesn't pay attention ever, is that watch where there's oil spills and stuff like that. Um, because that's huge. You could be learning in a freaking whole puddle of oil and don't know why your front wheel keeps washing out. Like, there's a bunch of spots I could show you. Right here is one. Yeah, huge. What about like color. this, babe? This so, fine. See how there's like divots right there? What if fine. You can go through that. That's fine. I. What I worry about is this. This is gonna wash you out real quick. Can you see in the camera? Yeah, you see the little oil spill oh, there? Okay. Right here too. They're all over the place. So if you're not controlled with your, if you're not controlled with your um, front brake, you're gonna wash out every single time. So okay. learning process, and it starts off by doing what you're doing, which is feeling more comfortable with just going around in a tight circle like that. And then eventually you'll get to the point where it's like, you're doing that no problem. Now you're going a little bit faster, but you're also still letting off the brake. So, you know, like you're learning in a different way where you can control your brake and on and off on your brake. I let off my brake when I feel like I'm losing, I'm getting yeah. too tight and I'm losing control. Yeah, it's because your bar is not turned in, like I was telling you. So when you want to give it brake and stay in a, you almost have to com come to a complete stop, but still be in control of your your throttle too. So you gotta learn how much throttle you can give it and that kind of stuff. There's a lot involved in it. All right, so I'm gonna keep practicing today and I'll update you guys and continue the video um, with more progress next time.